Hello everyone, I am back to update a previous video about converting and opening Astroneer save files across Steam and Microsoft. This time I will be covering an additional step uh, that we didn't cover last time and you can also follow along in this guide that I've posted on the forums and there's a link to this in the description below. Um, so regardless of whether you're bringing a file into Microsoft or into Steam, the first step is to open the file locations. Uh, there are instructions to do that here. So we will start um, with Steam, it's a little simpler. Uh, we're gonna copy this file location, press Windows R, paste the file location, and there we are. So there's Steam. The next one we're going to open is the Microsoft file location. And we are going to run a PowerShell command to do this. So we'll press Windows R again and type PowerShell. Paste that line that we have in the forums. Press Enter and it will open the Microsoft save file location. So now we have both of these open. Uh, this is Steam, and this is Microsoft, uh, and I have a save um, that I want to import from online. So I will go to this location, which I will also link in the description uh, for a save that Warfrat A54 made um, with the stuntman um, jetpack obstacle course, which is so much fun. I've already installed the uh, standard version and now I want to install the hard version. So let's download this and I have it set just to go to my downloads folder. So let's go get that. Um, just for ease, I will start with the Steam file. This one's pretty easy. Um, we are just going to right click and drag and copy this to Steam and that's it. It's ready. I can go open that save and play it now. If I wanted to open a Microsoft save and bring it over from Microsoft to Steam, I'm going to do the same thing. Let's take this one um, from October the 7th right click and drag, copy it, and you see it doesn't match this format, so we're going to make it match. There's a sample of this in the forum post for how you need to name your file. So let's borrow this name, copy that, rename, we'll paste that in and uh, let's just call this Microsoft conversion. So there we go. Now this file can also be opened immediately in Steam. Those are ready to go and we're done with Steam. Uh, let's move on to Microsoft. Uh, and this is where we're adding a step from the last video. Um, and I need to get in Astroneer uh, and you'll see in the forum post that we're going to create um, what I'm calling a sacrificial save. Um, so we're going to start a brand new save in Microsoft and then save and exit the game uh, and use that in order to convert a save file over. So let's start a new game. And once it gets to the opening sequence, I'm just going to save and quit. 
All right, there we go. Save and quit. Yes. So now in our Microsoft save location, we should have a brand new, there it is, a save file, and this will be our sacrificial save. Next, we're going to bring over a save. Um, you can do this either directly from your Steam file or any file that you've downloaded. I'm just going to use this one that we've downloaded. We've already put it in Steam. Now we're going to bring it to Microsoft. So let's copy that one over. And of course, the naming convention doesn't match again. And that's a very important. You'll also see here that the file type does not match. So we need to fix that too. Um, so first, let's take our sacrifice, copy its name, and delete that file. Now here's our conversion. We're going to rename this file and include that extension. We want to get rid of that too. And paste the name that we are borrowing from our sacrificial save. And yes, for sure that we want to change this file extension. And that's it. Now we can go back to Microsoft and open this save that's native to Steam. And we will be able to run Warfrat's amazing Jetpack course on Microsoft. It will not import the save name, so it's just going to take on a generic name, but it should be at the top here. Save to, let's rename it to if it's Stuntman Hard. Because this one does not have oxygen and that's what makes it harder. All right, so here it is. We are on Aatrox in Warfret Save. If you want to run this save, um, he has already set you up with all the little pieces that you need in order to run the save. Um, and you can play, of course, up to four players. And there's enough for each player to... Um, basically bite the dust once and try again. So if you're running the game and you die somehow, you respawn uh, at that little shelter there uh, and you can just grab some more jetpacks, some more fuel, whatever other tools you need and um, get back to racing. So check out this save. Uh, have fun converting your files. If you have any questions, uh, reply to the forum post in the comments below, uh, and myself or someone else will be happy to help you with that. Thank you so much.